Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I have been noticeably absent lately. It, it took me about two weeks to feel generally okay after my uh, reconstructive surgery on my nose. But as you can see, it's all healed up. Still not super pretty at the incision site, but I can kind of feel it now a little bit. It still kind of feels like somebody else's nose when I move my face, but other than that, I'm feeling generally okay. Um, I had some like weird headache issues and uh, the uh, antibiotics and steroids really messed with my stomach, so I was feeling pretty ill for a couple of weeks, but that's okay because I can breathe all the luxurious air. It's so funny, like my first thought was uh, when I was able to breathe like and, and didn't have blood all in my sinuses was, do people get this much oxygen all the time? This is fantastic. Now that all of that's done, I'm ready to get back to work. Yay! You may notice that I have some bear friends to my right, your left. <laughs> <laughs> and that is because I wanted to start off with something a little bit easy, easier for me anyway, to edit and to put together. And I kind of wanted to talk about my home. So we have lived in Portland, Oregon for two years now. And I love my house. I think it is amazing. There's obviously with every house, there's going to be things that you want to change and things that, you know, you don't realize aren't functioning properly until you get in there. But in general, I feel like my house is pretty awesome. So I wanted to show you my favorite room in the whole house and that is my daughter's room. I don't know if any other mothers are like this but I love to just sit in my daughter's room and like smell her little smell and see all her little treasures that she has you know scattered around and see kind of what she's been doing with her toys because sometimes you find hilarious things. I went through and checked there's nothing particularly hilarious today but sometimes you find like <laughs> leaves in her bed that have like the covers pulled up to like what looks like it would be like enough space for a face. It's pretty hilarious. I usually will come in here and just kind of chill for a little bit and I've decorated it in a way that she seems to enjoy, which is a bonus. I wonder if it's gonna last much longer that she actually likes this kind of stuff. We'll see when she wants to like have control of her own look. So a lot of it that I've put up has, it's all been stuff that she's expressed interest in. So she is a very girly girl. She likes pink and she likes light color. She likes pastels. She likes, you know, things that are shiny. She likes watching princess stuff. Uh, we tried to avoid doing really gendered things with her, but it she she watches her mommy put on makeup and like put on dresses and stuff and she just kind of naturally went that direction. Now that being said, she also loves to find snails and <laughs> she actually wants Madagascan hissing cockroaches as a pet and I told her that after summer we will get her some. Uh, so yeah, she's a girly girl, but she definitely likes to, you know, play in the dirt and <laughs> get filthy and do things that involve like lots of outside time. So her room is super girly girl, but you'll see some elements of her little personality of, you know, being outside and finding cool treasures. Let's get started. So I am in her reading nook. You see it says read. So this is her reading nook. That little couch thing pulls out to a queen size bed, which I found on Amazon. It's like four inch foam cushion, which is actually really comfortable and it's been pretty handy for having family in town too. So we had my mother-in-law and my aunt-in-law in town and my aunt stayed on this little guy in our one of our extra rooms. We just have one extra room actually. She seemed to be pretty Pretty comfortable on it so apparently it is a win. I knew I wanted something like this for Ripley's room because oh that's my daughter's name by the way. Ripley. So I knew I wanted something like that for Ripley's room because she's getting to the age and her friends are getting to the age where they want to have sleepovers and I was like well a twin bed is not gonna work so I wanted to have something that could fit in here but fold up for when it wasn't needed and this fits absolutely perfect in this area and then when it folds out it still fits like magically in the space so it comes about here and 
So in this, you can see I have this fake little chandelier that I painted and made. And I think I got these little birds from Ikea. Yeah, I think they were like super cheap and I was like, meh, I need something for here. And then I made those letters a long time ago. Oh, ignore the top line where I need to repaint. So we pulled out all of the closet in here because it was just kind of a ridiculous amount of closet for one room. So I need to go in and edge and repaint some areas. So yeah, I painted these when she was not even born yet. And I was like, well, I don't want to get rid of them just yet. So I went ahead and put them up. You can barely see them now that I have this guy, but whatever, they're still here. And then I took the doors off because A, when we moved here, she was not even two yet. So I didn't want her slamming her little fingers in those kinds of doors. But also because I wanted this to be a reading nook for now. And then when she gets a little bit older, I'll make it into like a little built-in desk. I knew that I wasn't going to need those. So I went ahead and got rid of them. And I put up these little Ikea curtains instead. And this guy was her old curtain rod, so I got to reuse that too. And these are her little books. Um, I'm currently trying to figure out another situation for the books because she is starting to have a lot of them, so I need to find something else that I can do with them that doesn't involve them being flat against the wall. She has a lot of cute little books. She can thank her Auntie Angela for a lot of them. Auntie Angela is an illustrator and she knows all the good books. And this is her little mirror that I think I got at like Home Goods or something. It looks like an Ikea mirror, but it is not. Then we have her dresser and all of this stuff was like literally everything here except for the little painted unicorn was in her nursery when we still lived in California, except this guy, this dresser. All of these decorations though were in her nursery in California. So I just tried to reuse as much as I could. And of course, everyone has to love this song if you have children. And you can see that she has some of her like favorite things. I think she got those two little paintings from one of her friends during her birthday party. I bought this print a long time ago because it was supposed to be a gift for someone else, but then I never gave it to them because I forgot. So there it is. Got a baby picture of her and her and her bestie and then a family picture. And these were like really neutral colors, but it didn't work. So I painted them. I actually don't like the way that the pink turned out. It turned out a lot pinker than I was thinking it would be. So I'm gonna eventually have to go back through and repaint them to a less Pepto-Bismol color. And then we've got the fan, her hair stuff and lip balm, some little fake flowers and flower that, I think she made this flower, some random stuff. And then this was her birthday cake topper for her second birthday. It was the first birthday that she had here. And then we've got kind of this old docking system and she has her white noise on here. So this is what we play at night so we can actually walk around and do stuff and we don't have to all be in bed silent at seven o'clock. <laughs> Okay, and this is her, so this was her really big extravagant gift for not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. It surprisingly wasn't that expensive because it's like MDF and it's like some of it is press board, but not very much of it. But yeah, so we've got all of that guy and this is her big, giant, ridiculous <laughs> dollhouse. And this is where all the fun stuff is. Like this is her rock family, which I think is hilarious. And apparently she's glued something to one of the rocks. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You can see that she found this little feather here and it is now on the side table for the dollies. Oh, this was the fluff from one of the dog toys and she put it in the bath so that all of her LOL dolls could have a bubble bath. <laughs> Cause she's creative that way. Oh, at her school, she makes like they, it's a Montessori school. So they learn how to sew and do um, useful life skills, not just learning how to, you know, count and write and all of that stuff. So she brings these home and apparently these are covers for her dollies. And, oh, this is really hilarious. So we've had this little skull head for about three years now. She found it on the floor somewhere and I didn't realize it until we got her home. So she must have like, she must have found it on the floor at like Target or something. And I didn't know it until we got home and she was like holding this thing. But now this guy is Mr. Bones. <laughs> so she's had this for a really long time. Then she got this last year because I was painting some random stuff and I just painted a little skull for her. So she's loved on that guy. And then she's got this guy, which is a daddy Mr. Bones. So as you can see, she's made a little robe for him. Yeah, so that is her dollhouse. And we've got her little unicorn head, her unicorn fake taxidermy. And this is, in fact, an Ikea frame. So because we did a whole bunch of pink and the, uh, the colors in the room were already kind of this light 
on this grayish blue. I wanted to do something a little bit bolder for accents, so I did these stripies. I did vertical stripes for everything else. So you can see on her bed, she's got the vertical stripes on the bed skirt, and this is her little stool so that she can get up, although at this point she doesn't really need it. But when we moved here, she wasn't, like I said, she wasn't yet two, so she still needed this to get up in bed. And we've got her little stars, which this is her current favorite sheets. And we've got some little deco. And this is her favorite blanket that her g -ma made for her. It's really pretty and it fits with all of her colors. And then we've got this, which has all of her random stuff. She's got her babies here. She's got some blocks, lots of random building stuff, lots of stuffed animals, and some extra books that do not fit on the shelf, but we want to keep them. And here, She's got her little chore chart, which we haven't been as active in using lately. We need to get back to it. And she's got some little crafting stuff that she keeps in her room and her little desk. And I think these two are for sure Ikea. This we found, I think it was free, actually. I want to say that someone gave it to us. But yeah, it was already white and it fits. So we use it to store all of her stuff. Then if we back up, you can see what all of this looks like. I got these little bunting banners on Amazon and pretty much all of this is from Ikea except for these paper stars. I think I got those at Joann's or something. Same thing over here. I think pretty much all of the bedding is from Target except for the little pillow that's an Ikea. These are Target. These lamps are Target. And then all of the random stuff on them came from everywhere else. This is the coolest thing. You turn it on and it actually, you can't really tell, but it actually puts little stars everywhere. It's so cute. We'll turn it on after she has read her books and look at the stars and it's really cool. And then she also has stars there, so we're just star crazy. She's got her little rocker that she's had from the time she was born and this is her little snail hat that she likes to make him wear. <laughs> We've got all of her fun little dress-up stuff, some jackets and like swimming stuff though. Eventually I want to put another board across there and do a lower hanging rod so she can actually reach her stuff and then the stuff that she doesn't necessarily need to have access to can be up here, but that is another project for another day. And then up here we have a whole bunch of storage, just random stuff, extra blankets, extra bedding, some random treats I got for her that I don't want her to have yet until she fills up her her chore chart, which we haven't been doing it, so I still have a whole bunch of stuff that I can give her. <laughs> There's some more toys and her little hamper. This is my baby's room. One on her door is her jackets and stuff, which I also want to put all of her jackets where she can reach them over here. And then just have like maybe a mirror there because she likes to play dress up and look at herself in the mirror. She is a vain little thing. And that is it for today. Like I said, I just wanted to get back into it by doing something kind of easy, easy to edit. And uh, I hope you guys were actually interested in this to some degree. Things that I have coming up, uh, I have a how to deal with the depression of family members and friends. So that should be fun. So it's from kind of an outsider's perspective, what to do, what not to do. And then I've also been working on how to spot if you're in a cult, which should be fun too. <laughs> and by fun, I mean horrifying. Those two things are coming up within the next month. I'll also obviously be doing like reviews on things. You know, I'm, I'm still doing my usual, like I'll do some makeup stuff, some reviews, some random one-offs. And then my, uh, I guess you can consider it self care videos <laughs> or like you know just more education about self-care issues so I'm getting back to it and I'm sorry I was gone so long I missed you guys don't forget you can also find me elsewhere at ojolieXox and that's Facebook Instagram Twitter all of that jazz if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell button that's next to it so you see every time I release a new video okay you guys Mwah. bye I'm still working on getting my accounts back to monetized so that I can actually chat with you guys while we do live cam stuff. I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. Just hit the little bell and I will let you guys know as soon as I have my monetization back and you can expect those live cam streams.